Hi everybody, welcome back to episode 72. So, in the previous episode, we built this little storage area. Uh, we fixed this piece that wouldn't let the fermenters all work with by building this little bit of wood here. And I said to you, I was going to do some wood harvesting offline. So I went and got a whole lot of fine wood and core wood. That's where I built that, uh, those railings with. See, all the fine wood, all the core wood. And I smashed one of the carts right here. We're going to head into the snow, but we're going to go better prepared than what we did before. Okay, it's not smashing. And I smelted the iron that was in here, the silver. That's where I got my cape from. And you can see I've got my 12 freeze potions ready with me. So we're going to take extra food. We're going to take this wagon with us. And then we are going to head across the river. Oops, here one. So we're going to take all that. Two stacks and two sticks. Might as well just... Okay, I can't need any more. So, I'm fully loaded. Uh, I need to put that old cape away. And then we're going to head out. Uh, I'm supposed to put my cultivator away. Okay, so put that away, put that away. There's our three eggs for the world boss, but we've got to go find the world boss still. Which is actually part of my adventure today. Just to go do that. So, let's go run to the boat now. I wanted to make sure everything was prepped and ready for when I started recording. Uh, our boat is here. We've got to go to that camp. But I need to search that side of the mountain. And yeah, we're going to see if we can find the spawn point. Or at least a thing that will indicate where the spawn point is. Uh, But yeah, I'm going in prepared. The wolf cloak that I am wearing protects me against frost. Wool, wolves and stuff will still hurt me quite a bit, but... Oh well. That's I'm taking the extra potions just in case. Oh nice, a nice short storm. Okay, so let's head out. I don't know why I'm still wearing the gas mask though. I do think that maybe when I get to the that mining node, I do still want to mine it. Uh, maybe what I should do is 
build a workbench and a fire pit. Both will have like a, a despawn radius of mobs. The mobs will obviously destroy the the workbench, but it'll probably make it easier for me to mine. Because then the stuff won't be spawning on top of me, basically. And we need to do a copper run at some point as well. I'm running very low on copper. So let's give it a go. Went too far. There's the boat there. Yeet. Okay, let's head out. And finally, we're heading into some favorable wind. As people watching the series will know. I have yet to have a decent go, th go through from point A to point B. Because the wind has just never been on my side. I can't remember if there was another mountain that we saw from here to there. I think there was. But we can go have a look, ski. I'm taking all this extra food and extra precaution just to get everything that side. Okay, let's eat some more honey. The ha the honey is my stamina food. The rest of these, if you actually look, are all uh, combat food. Like I said, I've yet to have a decent crossing of this little bit of water. Oh, my boat is very far away from where I want to be, but that's because of the storm. Oh well. So yeah, this is our forward operation center. As most of you guys already know. There's always something to fight here. But let's plop out this cart. Let's set our spawn point. Let's put all our food and stuff. Okay. Okay. And we do have our workbenches in here, so we can quickly just repair. Okay. 
I do need to get us some wood. Uh, and I'm going to need stone as well, now that I think about it. Because I did say I want to build a workbench up there. Okay, so we already know that going up that way is dangerous. We will spawn over here as well. This area is super steep, and there's a rock golem somewhere over there. That much we know about this mountain. So let's just try and scale up the side and see how high we can get. This hasn't been the most friendliest of mountains for me. Oh great, so I ended up on the wolf side anyway. See, there you go, you could hear the wolves howling. Well, I could hear the wolves howling. I have turned the gameplay down a little bit. Just didn't make it. With it raining, it's, as you guys know, it depletes your stamina quicker. Oh, great. I jumped straight at the wolf. Nope. Oh, I gave the wolf plenty of time to hit me. At least I made it to the bottom, so I need to get a stamina potion. I mean, a frost potion. <clears throat> like I said, I haven't had much luck with this mount. But this is why we brought the extra food. I suspect the wolf will still be somewhere in the area. Ah, oh, you don't you don't just hit and run, buddy. You gotta fight. Yeah, I suspect the wolf will be somewhere in the area, so we're going to proceed with caution. Oh, there's you there. There goes Mr. Wolf. Goodbye, Wolfie. Ah, oh, great. And you can hear a dragon on top as well. Oh, I can see it. 
Amen. Rude. I'm like the smallest little ledger I can try and dodge all of the attacks. So annoying. Oh, he's dead. Goodbye. I'm just not getting the heart I need. Okay, let's try again. Oh, we made it up. Okay, we're going to head to the tower just above us. We know there's a tower up there. And we'll use the tower as my little scout point. No, I can still hear another dragon. I'm being extra careful, trying to find any signs of wolves, because I'm not scared of dragons, I'm just scared of wolves. Like, dragons can kill me, but the, the wolves do more damage. Nice. There it goes. Okay. Ah, oh, the rock elm is right there now. If you guys didn't see it, I'll just quickly show it to you. There, that's sitting there. Very friendly guy. And our mining operation is over there. Yep, he's going to come destroy my tower. I can't do much against him. He has just way too much health for me. So, yeah, we are not going to be mining today, apparently, because I'm not going to face off against that. Uh, and I don't want to try and just explore with this guy on my case. So we're going to go down, and then we're just going to run away from here. Very fast. Oh, he's still chasing me there. Okay, so we're going to sleep for the night, then we're going to head into somewhere over here. We need to find this next boss. We're ready for it, but we just haven't found it.
Okay, so that's a bit of a bust now that the rock arm was on the mining node. There are enemies nearby. I don't see them. Oh, there's a pig. Uh, and a little grayling. Now I should be able to sleep. Oh, look at that. I can now sleep. <laughs> okay. Let's repair our gear. Uh, there's no point in trying to get there if that rock elm was there until we can kill the rock elm. So I need to take a little bit of food with me. I'm not going to run all the way there and all the way back again. I'm going to create a new spawn point. Okay, so let's head out. Yeah, it did put Ross potions just in case. I don't quite know exactly where I'm heading. Just that I'm heading in this general direction. There's a beehive in there, but we've got so much honey that I don't even know what to do with half of it. No, it's still 20 seconds. Nope, there's another wolf nearby, and he's close to the bottom. Don't know where he is, but heard the hell. Come, let's keep going. So yeah, I want to build another spawn point if we find the next mountain. Mostly because I don't want to have to run this path every time I die. And if those are wondering why I'm not using portals, we are doing a no portal run. So, everywhere we go is on foot. Oh, and by boats, obviously. Though I will be honest, there has been times I've contemplated bringing out a portal and it's like, yeah, let's just do it. <laughs> See, there's snow there. That's why I thought that this was a, a place. 
So we're going to obviously not build next to the skeletons. Okay, we're going to make ourselves a little spawn point here. But I need a bit more wood. See, I mostly just need a point where I can start off from. And this is not looking like one of those points. Yeah, I see the guy following me. I just want to get over here first. Damn, there's actually three of them. This doesn't look like a very big snow area, but let's see. It's purely a place for us just to set up a spawn and so we can just reset pick up our loot and then try to run back up there. Nothing fancy. And a chest for extra supplies. So, that's our spawn point. Put our food in here. Swap that out to the mining one. I can do that too. Oh, it's a one star. Now it's a dead star. I mostly wanted to clear the tower so I can come up here. Not even knowing that there was a tower here. And so I can get a bit of a bird's eye view of what we have to deal with. Okay. It doesn't look like it's anything too bad here. And my wishbone isn't blinking as yet. Okay, it's... Um, damn it, almost made it. No, I didn't make it. So just a reminder, we're, we're looking for silver and we're also looking for the spawn point for the boss or even just a notification that this is a spawn point of the boss. Like an indicator almost. Okay, I see a nest. Uh, did I hear a wolf or didn't I hear a wolf? 
I heard the dragon scream. I'm forever paranoid about wolves. Nice little horde. Okay, so it looks like there's a little cave of some kind there. By well, looks, I think somewhere here. There's a mining thingy. Okay, so it's somewhere here. Oh, great. So we found it, but we also found a rock elm. There's no way I'm gonna be able to beat that thing up. Yeah, go back to sleep. That's a bit of a pity. So let's just make a note of it. Mine here. I also want to go inspect this cave. Don't know how, even though I'm walking forward, I'm falling down. Oh, my step, my food is finished. Uh, okay, so I'm going to cut the video off here. I want to see you guys. Thanks for watching. I'm going to get some food and then we're going to challenge this cave. Because that cave will pretty much indicate where the boss is. They generally will have like a, your next opponent is here type of thing. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Have fun. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you guys in episode 73.